Good afternoon. My name is Mike Eccles, and I am going to be your COM 100 instructor this coming fall semester at Bergen Community College. Um, I, we're still a week away, so I want you to still enjoy this last week of summer break. And then, of course, this coming Wednesday, uh, September 2nd, is when the semester begins. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to send this to you a week in advance uh, just to give you an idea on how things are going to work. Um, as you all know, we are in unprecedented times. I mean, here I am going into my 22nd year at Bergen Community College, and I am still learning a lot about what in the hell is going on. And here's the reason why. As I'm finishing out my 21st year earlier in March, we went on spring break. Well, of course, in March is when all the COVID thing really started to uh, strike at home. So they said, you know what, take another week of spring break and then we'll see if you're coming back. Well, then, of course, we got the email that said, nope, Bergen's going virtual for the rest of the spring semester. So now here I am, 21 years teaching at Bergen, several years teaching before that. And I never, ever taught a summer class. Not only that, but I never even had any... Uh, want. Uh, I had no inkling whatsoever of ever, or desire, that's the word I'm looking for. I had no desire to teach a summer class. I had no desire whatsoever. Um, and now all of a sudden I've got to teach online. And of course, a lot of the students who took my class when it was in person suddenly realized they're coming back from spring break and it's now going to be online, which many of them have never done before and have never wanted to do before. But you know what? During these unprecedented times, we found a way to get through it and we finished the semester. So then I taught three classes in summer one and two classes in summer two. Uh, now I have full semesters where I have to teach online, which I've never done before. And what's more is the course that they have at Bergen where if faculty are going to teach online, you have to take a certain course. Well, they weren't available. So. I, I, I improvised, I did certain things, and you know what? It came out just fine. It came out actually very well. Both the summer one and summer two sessions, all five classes seemed to really get something out of it, and we got through it. Well, now here it is the fall. And many of you registered for this class back in April when life was absolutely different. Even though we did have the COVID thing going on, you were under the impression that, oh, you know, come fall, we'll definitely be back in the classroom. So I'll take that Wednesday, Friday class or that Tuesday, Thursday class. And of course, those classes, those meeting times no longer exist as we're all online. And the last thing I wanted to do was to have the class synchronously, which means I didn't want to still meet live through WebEx every, say, Wednesday, Friday at 1.45, because many of you who might have registered for a class that Wednesday and Friday at 1.45 p.m. now have to work because the job that you had when you registered for this class in April, well, that job's gone. You've had to get another one or maybe two other jobs that meet during that time period. So we are just strictly online, and this is how it's going to work. Now, there are some of you here, and I'm talking mostly to the people who have been at Bergen before, uh, not just to the new people who are coming in for the first time. Uh, for those of you who, um, I'm very happy that many of your high schools, even if it was in July and in August, still had a high school graduation ceremony. So I congratulate you guys for that, that you still got yourselves a graduation ceremony. But for those of you who have been at Bergen before, um, I've never used Moodle. And I still, you know, I'm one of those people, like a lot of you, where... You know, you can write me out instructions or something like that, but I still like to be hands-on. Like, I like to be in the room when you're teaching me. And I've never taken any of the courses on how to learn as a professor to use Moodle and that kind of thing. Now, it's not saying that I'm not going to try and learn how to use Moodle, but for the spring semester and the two summer sessions, I didn't use Moodle. What I did is I went and used our Google email, okay, our Gmail that everybody has set up the way you received this video today. So that's what we're going to do, is we're primarily going to be using Gmail. Uh, probably starting 
the second week of the semester, because of course next week uh, we don't start until Wednesday. Uh, so I'll send out a, a, an email next Wednesday, and then probably every Monday and Thursday is more than likely when I'll send something out to you. There'll be assignments, there'll be a short lesson, uh, I'll have some reading assignments, that kind of thing. Uh, but the bottom line is, is we're primarily going to be using our Gmail. Okay, It's a system that I've worked out, I'm very comfortable with it, and what I'm hoping, fingers crossed, is that this fall semester will be the last time that I have to use this system. Uh, but like I said, it worked very well over the summer sessions. Um, I got some terrific feedback from students. Uh, so uh, we're going to continue to do that with the Gmail. The one thing I do ask, if you haven't already, is when it comes to informal, informal speeches that you'll present, and I'll talk more about that next Wednesday, uh, but I would like for you to set up a YouTube account. Now, YouTube accounts are free, but here's the reason why, is that there are some speeches that are going to be required, both informal and formal, and I want you to record them and then upload them to YouTube. Uh, this way, all I need is the link, because sometimes you may uh, create a video file that might be too big for you to email. Yet, if you create the video and then upload it to YouTube, to your free, and remember, it's, it's all free, to create a YouTube account, uh, you can then send me the link. And there are some cases where, uh, not some cases, there is a case where you can have the setting where only the person you send the link to will see it, and that'll be me. Uh, just make sure, don't make it completely private where I don't see it. Uh, but this worked very well uh, during the spring and the two summer sessions. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you want an idea of what some of the lessons are going to look like. I record everything and put it onto my YouTube channel. I've had a YouTube channel for years, um, and now I use it for the classes. So, and even though there are lessons that you're going to go over, you know, I don't repeat them. I don't, I don't like just send you out an old recording. Uh, I like to personalize them in the sense I like to make them as current as possible. But if you want to get an idea of what things are going to look like, yeah, go to my YouTube channel. And you'll see when we talk about, say, chapter one, or we talk about uh, chapters two and five or something to that effect, uh, or when we talk about uh, public speaking, you'll see what those lessons will look like. And uh, it'll give you an idea. Okay, although I will personalize them and I always make new video recordings for each and every semester. So that's where we are. All right, so what I want you to do is go enjoy the rest of the week. You've got until Wednesday, and then, of course, September 2nd, everything starts. I'll be sending you out something next Wednesday. Be looking in your email boxes, and then we'll probably do every Monday and Thursday. And you will have certain deadlines that you'll have to make to get your assignments in. But it won't be, and nothing will be synchronous. Uh, if your schedule, remember, no matter what time period your class was scheduled for, that's now out the window because we're now totally online. All right. Enjoy your weekend, people. Enjoy the rest of your break. And we'll see you on Wednesday, September 2nd. Take care.